What's up, YouTube? I'm Ostini, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Artisan Heian. Um, so I have already done a review on this um, mouse pad, uh, and the reason that I'm doing another one is things have changed with the pad, and um, I think most people want to know how the pad is going to wear and how it's going to kind of progress through use, and it is it is pretty drastically different than how it came out of the box. That being said, not all of it's bad. I actually prefer the mouse pad now than it was directly out of the box. And I'll explain that in a second. So the thing that has changed the most, shockingly, shockingly, is the glide. The glide, the reason you bought the pad, right? You wanted a mouse pad that was going to give you the control while still having low initial friction. And that is what you get with the Heian. But when you get it out of the box, um, the pad's really fast, abnormally fast. Um, that's kind of the reason I recommend cleaning your pad directly as soon as you get it, right? Move your mouse a bit, clean the pad. because. The pad almost feels like it's coated when you first get it. It is ridiculously fast. Compared to what it is now, the fucking thing was rocketing my mouse all over the place. Um, and I don't know if it was a coating. I don't know if it was, like, some powder and shit from the... Um, or I, I don't know. I don't know. But <laughs> right out of the box, it was so fast. And me not knowing a lot about mouse pads at the time i thought that was how the pad was always supposed to feel and looking back um with some hindsight um the pad is supposed to have a lot more control than that um and it does definitely wear in a good way i think in a good way um and obviously everyone's going to have their own opinion i think this pad has maybe worn a bit too much actually uh, mine has been kind of abused, if I'm going to be completely honest. I push down pretty hard with my mice. Um, you can see I wear a sleeve all the time, so <laughs> you can see like a slight difference in coloration, like right there maybe. Um, but yeah, so let's, let's take a look here at um, the stitching of the pad, right? Look at the, how little raised these bumps are. These, these bumps are not very raised off of the pad. Um, they're almost completely flush with each other. Whereas you go to a spot on the pad which is very little used, look how much bigger and more defined these bumps are, okay? And I think that is a great indication of where your pad is kind of worn down. And you can feel a difference. Oh, you can feel a difference. Let me show you. Like... It is way faster over here. I don't use this part of my pad, and it's fucking zipping around. In the center, I got this control. The edges, a lot faster. And it almost feels like a small gradient if you're really paying attention. Well, not really. You really can't feel it. But with your hand, you can absolutely feel that this part of your pad is going to be more worn um, after use than the corners, the edges, etc. And... I don't think it's necessarily a bad thing because, like I said, I think this amount of control is actually pretty good. Right? Look at this. Ready? Oh, it's moving when I want it to move. And look, I can stop it. Look at that. Right? It's fucking fine, man. Uh, I don't think after a few months you need to buy and go buy a whole new Hien. But if you're looking for that sort of feeling that you got when you first get the Hien, just buy a Raiden. It's basically the same fucking speed. Um, and now the pad has definitely slowed down a lot. Um, and I think, you know, it can be a good thing, it can be a bad thing. That you, can make, that you really can't feel much of a difference by moving your mouse. But definitely, with you can definitely feel a difference if you use your hand, and I don't know how much worse that's going to get over time. Um, so I'll just keep making these reviews if anything's changed again. Going into other parts of the mouse pad, you got the stitching. Still fucking based, man. Look at it. Fucking mint stitching. Mm, that's some good stitching. It hasn't changed. Still the sexiest mouse pad stitching you'll ever see. Uh, rubber. The rubber's the same. I mean, come on, it's fucking rubber, guys. Like, it's not gonna change. Uh, and the only other thing that I can say has probably changed with the pad is the color. I think when I first got it, it was a little bit... 
like of a darker and more vibrant red and it's kind of mellowed out and more of a, more of a pastel -y color because I washed the pad a lot maybe 25 washes on this baby um, at this point so yeah the colors changed a bit um, I don't think it's an issue I mean if I can get this thing to like a fucking uh, strawberry milkshake looking color I mean come on that'd be a fucking win so uh, the colors changed um, if that's an issue for you I don't know, spray paint it, but yeah, it's nice. It hasn't changed a whole lot in a way that makes me not want to use this pad. I still use this pad as my daily, it never comes off my mouse, my, my desk. Um, occasionally I've switched it for the Hayate Osu, but I'm having some pretty severe issues with that pad right now, um, all stemming from cleaning it. Like, cleaning that pad is like I've is like cleaning not like nothing else. I've never cleaned something more difficult than the Hayate Osu. And I'll kind of get into that when I make that review. Um no idea when it's going to happen. I keep getting stuck in these like roadblocks with it. Um cuz I want these pads to be, you know, I want the test like the comparison to be accurate. I don't want to lie and, you know, show you an unclean Hayate Osu versus a clean Hien or vice versa. I want to make sure they're exactly the same. Uh, when I do this review, and I'm having huge issues with the Hayate Osu in the cleaning side of things. Um, but I'll get into that on that video. It's coming, guys, I promise. It is coming. I know it's taking a, it's taking a long ass time. I said like Christmas, and it is well past then. But I've seriously been trying to get these pads in sort of a, same, in the sort of the same place. Um, and like I said, the Hate Osu has been weird. It's been really weird. And yeah, I'm not really, I'm not sure. I'm going to keep, I'll keep you guys more updated. I'll let you know at some point again, um, I'm going to be reviewing the G Pro here soon. So, um, yeah, I mean, you'll get another update when I do the G Pro review at the end of it. I'm letting you know when this review is coming, hopefully sooner than later, guys. So, um, Thanks for watching the review. I really do appreciate it. Um, G Pro review coming very soon. Um, and like I said uh, last video, my production quality is hopefully going to start going up. I bought this Snowball mic, and I'm not going to lie to you guys, it's kind of shit. Um, mostly because I don't know how to set up a mic to save my fucking life. Um, so at some point I'll start using that, and I, I bought a camera as well, so... Um, well, I've had a camera, I just have opted to use my phone. Um, and at some point, I'll start trying to up the quality of these videos a bit more. So, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, thank you guys for watching. Uh, honestly, buy yourself a he and treat yourself, guys. Treat yourself, you know? There's little things in life that feel better than rubbing your hand across a fresh he and man. On that note, peace out.